and gentlemen, the countdown has just begun. Are you ready? Welcome back to another episode and thanks for tuning in. In this episode I'm showing how to assemble this engine hoist. I'm doing this video because this engine hoist was bought from Pep Boys Auto but don't include the instruction manual so I had to search everywhere in the internet and few and also see a lot of videos but the 90% of the videos and info online was for the two ton capacity engine hoist and this particular one is the one ton compact size engine hoist and that makes it really really tough for me to find the, to find how to assemble this thing but I found a video of um, a pretty a pretty similar one, but was just an informative video. Um, so what I had to do was take screenshot of that particular video. I had to take some time looking in each photo so I could figure out how to assemble this thing. So let's begin with the assembly. Oh, um, I almost forget I'm doing this video like a preparation for my upcoming SR20 swap on my 240SX so stay tuned and uh, you don't subscribe yet please do it and like the video also share my video on Facebook that's how my channel to grow so let's get tracking into this Okay, everything went smooth until I hit this little roadblock. As you can see, uh, as I'm tightening this bolt, you can see at the bottom those shavings. Actually, the threads on the bolt. These bolts are are too long, so if you install this bolt and you want maybe remove the ball in the future you have to pay close attention to this and avoid to cross thread the, the knot let me tell you guys I take all the bolts and measure when I figure this this happening and all the bolts was the same length so that's a bad planning when these two was designed
I suffer of bad back, so that's why I'm I'm doing this whole assembly procedure in these two tables. Okay guys, uh, this is a really clever idea of the of our design. You have to slide all the way to the to the opening area of the two the two bolts so you can easily put the the two washers and the nut and slightly tighten those those two <coughs> then you press the whole wheel caster and align where it belongs and just to the other two bolts and you are done let me show you in detail what I'm explaining there you go this is so convenient Now it's time to install the handlebar. This is just a matter of install these four screws with a lock washer and you are done. Okay, let me point something here. That ball you see me installing into the lower part of the jack border, that is a wrong screw. That screw belongs on the boom to hold the chain. You can identify the ball because it has a really long uh, blank sp space with just a little bit of thread.
Okay, this is what I was talking about a little earlier. The bolt I installed on the bottom side of the bottle. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't his place. Here is where the bolt is belonged. To hold the chain. That's why this bolt only have a little bit of thread on it. And make sure you put this hook facing to the to the front of the hoist because it's easy to to work when you are going to hook the strap or the engine leveler or just a plain chain to it. guys I rise all the way up the bottle to show you this bottle has the has this red line is to tell you the bottle is maxed out pay attention when you are working with the pay attention when you're working with the hoist Now what you can see in the in the screen now I am installing this long M6 or M4 screw with the nut to secure this little fit so the the engine hoist can do, can stay upright. Well guys Thanks for watching. Again, please subscribe to my channel, share my videos with your friends on Facebook. That will help a lot my channel. I can I can grow more and continue making videos. Thanks again and don't forget as always get your hands dirty and make it happen. Bye.